Oh, it's cold out there. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Rick? Javier, good to see you. Rick Silver, right uh, from uh, the Fiat Chrysler Automotive uh, Group. It's kind to hard to get used to that new name. I think. Well, we're all taking a little bit, but that's why we say FCA. It makes it easier. FCA, almost. yeah, okay. So we're here at the Mirabel Airport uh, outside Montreal. Kind of interesting story here. Uh, this airport, I understand, was built 20 years ago. It's abandoned now. <laughs> yeah, it didn't didn't quite see as many planes as they thought. Yeah, like I, I, from what I heard, they they built it because it was like a refueling station for some planes coming from Europe, and as planes uh, became efficient, they there was no use for it. So yeah, they they like the. I mean, it's in part of all you guys, engineers, making everything efficient. We're, <laughs> well, we're making uh, we're making efficient use of it now. We yeah, like exactly. Experience. So we're here uh, testing all the vehicles from the FCA group, uh, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep and Ram with the all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive system. So Rich, well first thing, what's the difference between all-wheel drive and a four by four? Well here at FCA, our four-wheel drive is uh, very sacred. So our, our Jeeps, we tune them so that the four-wheel drive behaves a certain way on-road and off-road. I don't think you can easily define it by the type of hardware, but the feel and the intent and the purpose is really... So, amazing. can we say that 4x4 is more for extreme driving, like off-roading, this kind of thing, uh, and all-wheel drive is more for efficient and hyper, uh, better performance? Yeah, I, I don't know if we can do a broad statement, but it, yeah, we can... I'm trying it, to understand, like, in, cars. In, 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 like, more, like regular terms uh, for, for our audience, I mean, to understand exactly what, well, for, what, what for, there are two names to that. For off-road or any of our trail rated, you want to be in the four-wheel drive system. And then as our, our trucks and, and obviously the Wrangler, but the, the trucks are a, a four by four system as well. And a lot of the basic transfer case and when we allow a, a true uh, lockup between the front and rear axle speeds or yeah. side to side axle speeds, very common is our four-wheel drive systems. Our all-wheel drive is tuned for on-road performance, though. Okay. To your point, and whether it's uh, efficient and safe driving, like in a, a Durango that's all-wheel drive, or if we were in a 200S where we can have a more spirited drive, that's an all-wheel drive system. Okay, excellent. So um, we hire uh, the four brands here, as we mentioned, and uh, so. Uh, What's new in the in the FCA kind of group uh, in terms of uh, this technology, in te models with the, this new technology? F FCA has been a leader in, first of all, in our disconnecting all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. So we've had disconnecting uh, chargers and 300s for, for several years now. Yeah. We've recently got achieved a, a different a disconnecting technology for front drive based cars. So our Cherokee and the 200S, or 200, whether it's C or S, and also the new Jeep Renegade is a disconnecting uh, four-wheel drive system. Okay. Well, we have some instructions from... Uh, okay. uh, you got the advice that the off-road is going to be open. Okay. So it's up to you now if you want to choose between the three of us. Excellent. Three, uh, exercise. Well, so. Thank you. And uh, don't be shy to push it over there, have fun. Well, All right. Thank you. <laughs> don't be shy, I like yeah, those words. Yeah, that's uh, the fun part about these events. That you can be safe, very safe in this kind of environment. So we're here going here into an eight... Uh, a figure eight, loop, eight or a... Figure eight loop. And uh, so what's the difference when a car, like for example, there we're like turning and it's already sliding a little bit. I mean, because of under the snow, there's a lot of... Yeah, this ice, surface right? this surface is packed snow, which is turned to ice. And then today with the snowfall, we have some loose snow on top of it. So as you drive into the loose snow, you'll feel a little bit of, of push, as we say, even with a winter tire. Yeah. Because it's sort of like a movable liquid on top of the hard ice. And what you'll feel in a, in a Wrangler is you have it in four-wheel drive. This is the X model, which has a locking rear axle, but we'll keep it open for the drive right now. And you can feel that you, as you turn the wheel, you'll feel the vehicle turn in. That's mostly your chassis. As you get on the throttle, you'll feel the, the front and rear both contributing to that turn. So the four-wheel drive system is giving you the power to get, get around the course, and then the, your chassis is interacting with it. But you, you aren't entering into uh, stability control yet. You're still yeah. on, well under control, and it's moving on 
But that's know. what all this new technology does to these cars, right? I mean, even though it's very extreme conditions here and like slide and all that, the computers do a lot of the work. Yeah, yeah. The, there's a little bit of supervisory going on, keeping you in the direction that you want to be heading, making sure the car is turning the way you want it to turn. So for people who, who don't live in these uh, these places that, that absolutely need uh, this, let me see. Oh, the lights again? Yes. I didn't turn them on. Just to know. <laughs> so as I was saying, for people who live in other areas where there's no snow, like Miami or like some both states, what's the advantages of having uh, these systems in the car to go? Well, all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive isn't just for snow. It can help if you're, yeah, uh, maybe you have sand or some dirt roads that you need to traverse, or or rain even. That rain, especially uh, muddy roads, potholes, you know, chuck holes where you may have to go slow, and you want to have traction in, in both axles or all four wheels. It, it, it's it's very useful for for many people. It's just not for winter anymore. And uh, one of the one of the discussions we were having recently. It, uh, a vehicle that may not see us all, all the time in, yeah. into the snow, but people even in Southern California, if they want to go up into the mountains, go skiing or snowboarding, they can utilize all-wheel drive and drive with confidence as they go out to, to enjoy their activities. And having all-wheel drive or 4x4 four four doesn't uh, affect as much anymore the efficiency of the engines in terms of MPG, right? That's, that's been our goal and at the forefront of our design. And that's why we've pioneered these disconnecting technologies. So disconnecting on a Dodge Charger where we can have a rear drive for the person who wants that, but then it will provide all-wheel drive traction or performance when necessary. And then with our front drive architectures, absolutely. The, when it's in front drive, it's the, the most efficient way to drive the car. And then they're so fast that they can respond and automatically engage four-wheel drive. So the computers make that decision for you, or you there's a knob that you can uh, switch we, it by, back and forth? We can hop into a Jeep Cherokee and go over that a little bit more if you'd like. Okay, we'll, we'll do that uh, later. Okay. So another question about uh, these uh, systems. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah. All the vehicles have different modes for the all-wheel drive or the 4x4 system, right? Like snow, and like, can you go through that a little bit, please? Yeah, we don't have it in the Wrangler, because our Wrangler is a, all, a fixed permanent, system. Yeah, yeah permanent. You do have four high and you have four low and a, a transfer case neutral. A lot of our customers enjoy the Wrangler specifically for that. So they can use a transfer case neutral and pull it behind the recreational vehicle. So yeah. they bring it with them, they go on a, a vacation, they park the say motor home or whatever the product is. And then they have the, the Wrangler to get them around town. So it's a fun car, they can drive it. You want to drive it on the beach or in terms of uh, cost uh, of these vehicles, is there a, a big difference uh, anymore in between cars that have only front wheel or rear wheel drive uh, systems? I think in some of the discussions from the brands today, we're, we're definitely doing our best to get that cost down so that the, the opportunity cost to get into an all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive is, is not so great that it's prohibitive. And I think yeah. we're seeing that, that distance Decrease. So the, the new Renegade, for example, the Jeep starts under twenty thousand, and it already has a four for four wheel drive. Which is, it's pretty amazing, it's, right? and that's a lot of a lot of vehicle for that. It's a good value, and the fuel economy is is not hampered as much as it could be because of the disconnecting technology. So you you get that in the Renegade, it's passive. It, it will disconnect and reconnect on its own, and we can go over that either. And finally, what's the, the difference uh, of uh, adding these systems to a rear-wheel drive car to a front-wheel drive car? Is there any difference in terms of uh, what? The hardware is yeah. drastically significant. So in a rear drive car, we need to, behind the transmission, add a, a transfer case. Yeah. You're pushed. And but in a front drive, we have to add a component called the power transfer unit that allows the front axle to still drive but takes some of that power and torque and sends it to the rear. So yeah, very different hardware and uh, very different architecture. Well Rick, thank you very much. We're going to keep enjoying uh, driving here. I mean the sun is coming out. It doesn't yeah. mean that it's warmer. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, more, more, more light. Well thank you very much for everything. Eh? Thank you very much. Bye.
Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. Thank you.